horizontal versus vertical pulls. Well, you should do one per workout for balance, but beyond that, if you're adding a third pulling compound, it depends which area of your back is lagging, and the way you pull determines the biasing. It's not enough to just say vertical is for width, horizontal is for thickness. For example, if I do neutral close grip rows, not pulling past the body and retracting, that's a similar arm path to hollow body chin-ups. Likewise, if I fully arch my back and enter a dead hang on pull-ups, that's a lot of traps, rhomboids, and rear delts, similar to most full range of motion rows with a wider arm path. So form changes everything, but the generality of width versus thickness still applies to normal variations. Though to keep things simple, if you want to be wider, do a pull-up, another pull-up or lap pull-down, then finish with one row. Here it could be without chest support since the lower back is not fatigued, yet your upper back still is. But if you want to double down on more stable options or even bodyweight rows, that's fine too. Now to get thicker, you can still start with pull-ups since they're the most difficult, but then do a stable row, preferably with chest support, followed by any other row of your choice.